Have you ever wondered how the mind of Albert Einstein, one of the greatest physicists of the 20th century, worked? This is the enigma we're unraveling today, as we introduce the renowned physicist, Albert Einstein. His groundbreaking contributions have not only shaped science but redefined our understanding of the very fabric of the universe. Through his work, our perceptions of space, time and energy were forever altered. Now let's delve into the extraordinary life of this scientific genius. Albert Einstein was not born a genius. In fact, his beginnings were humble and quite ordinary. Born in the small German city of Ulm in March of 1879, Einstein was the first child of a featherbed salesman and a musician. His early years weren't marked by any extraordinary achievements. Einstein, like many other children of his time, attended elementary school in Munich, where his family had moved when he was just a year old. His initial encounter with formal education, however, was not a pleasant one. The rigid, rote learning system of the time clashed with his free-thinking spirit, causing him to struggle in school. His teachers even considered him a slow learner, primarily due to his tendency to ask questions that seemed irrelevant or out of place in a traditional classroom setting. Yet, it was during these early years in Munich that the seeds of Einstein's future brilliance were sown. A significant turning point in his life came at the age of five when his father gifted him a compass. To any other child it might have been just another toy, but for Einstein, it was a revelation. He was utterly fascinated by the invisible forces that caused the needle to move. This simple compass ignited in him a lifelong fascination with physics, setting the stage for his future contributions to the field. Despite the hardships in school, Einstein's intellectual curiosity remained unquenched. He developed an independent learning style, often immersing himself in books about science and philosophy, he spent countless hours conducting thought experiments, a technique that would later be instrumental in his development of the theory of relativity. Einstein's early years were not easy. He faced many challenges from being misunderstood in school to dealing with a learning system that didn't value his curious mind. But he didn't let these obstacles deter him. Instead, he used them as stepping stones, fueling his passion for understanding the world around him. Despite early challenges, Einstein persevered, and his curiosity set him on a path to greatness. The year 1905 marked a turning point in Einstein's career. This year is often referred to as Einstein's Annus Mirabilis or Miracle Year, a time of extraordinary creative output that would forever change the landscape of physics. Imagine being at the Swiss Patent Office poring over technical documents during the day and then in the evenings, reshaping the world's understanding of the physical universe. That was Einstein's life in 1905. He was just 26 years old, working as a third-class patent examiner, far from the world of academia. Yet, in his spare time, he was formulating ideas that would challenge centuries of scientific thought. That year, he published four groundbreaking papers in a leading German physics journal, each one more revolutionary than the last. The first paper proposed a theory to explain a quirky phenomenon known as the photoelectric effect. This work would later win him the Nobel Prize and form the basis for quantum theory. The second paper took on the seemingly random dance of particles suspended in a liquid, a mystery known as Brownian motion. Einstein's explanation provided compelling evidence for the existence of atoms, something that was still disputed by some scientists at the time. His third paper introduced the world to the theory of special relativity, a radical new view of space and time. It proposed that space and time were intertwined into a single entity known as space-time, and that both were not absolute but relative to the observer. Finally, his fourth paper proposed a relationship between energy and mass, encapsulated in the most famous equation in physics, ELMC2. This equation showed that a small amount of mass could be converted into a large amount of energy, laying the groundwork for nuclear power and atomic weapons. These papers not only revolutionized physics but also established Einstein as a leading scientist of his time. From his humble desk at the patent office, Einstein reached out and reshaped our understanding of the universe, a testament to the power of a curious and determined mind. Einstein's most significant contribution came in 1915 with the general theory of relativity. This theory was revolutionary, a game-changer, shaking the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. It proposed that gravity is not a force pulling objects together but a curvature of space and time caused by mass and energy. In essence, it's like a trampoline. If you place a bowling ball in the center it creates a dip and any smaller balls that come near will roll towards it. That's a simplified visualization of how gravity works according to Einstein. 
This theory was mind-bending and it contradicted the long-standing Newtonian physics. But how was it confirmed? The answer lies in the stars, or, more accurately, the Sun. During a total solar eclipse in 1919, British astronomer Arthur Eddington observed the light from distant stars passing close to the Sun. According to the general theory of relativity, the Sun's mass would cause the space-time around it to curve, thus bending the light. And that's exactly what Eddington saw. This observation catapulted Einstein into the limelight and firmly established his theory. But the theory of relativity is not what earned Einstein the Nobel Prize. In 1921, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his explanation of the photoelectric effect. This is the phenomenon where electrons are emitted from a material like metal when it's exposed to light. Einstein proposed that light was made up of packets of energy called quanta or photons, a groundbreaking idea that played a crucial role in the development of quantum mechanics. Einstein's work, particularly in the realm of relativity, was revolutionary. It challenged and changed our perception of the universe. His name became synonymous with genius, and his theories underpin much of modern physics. From GPS systems that correct for the effects of relativity, to our understanding of black holes and the Big Bang, Einstein's theories continue to shape our understanding of the cosmos. Einstein's later years were marked by a quest for a unified theory. After fleeing Nazi Germany in 1933, Albert Einstein found a new home in the United States, where he accepted a position at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. This transition marked a new chapter in his life, both personally and professionally. At the Institute, Einstein immersed himself in his lifelong quest for a unified field theory, an all-encompassing framework that could explain the fundamental forces of nature. Despite the skepticism of his peers, Einstein remained undeterred. For him, this was more than just a scientific pursuit. It was a philosophical one, reflecting his belief in a harmonious and deterministic universe. But Einstein's later years weren't just about science. An avowed pacifist, he used his platform to advocate for peace and disarmament. His views were shaped by the horrors of the world wars and the devastating potential of nuclear weapons, a topic he was unfortunately all too familiar with. In 1939, Einstein had signed a letter to President Roosevelt, warning him about Germany's potential development of atomic weapons. This letter played a key role in initiating the Manhattan Project, the top-secret U.S. effort to build the atomic bomb. Despite his pacifist leanings, Einstein felt compelled to act, fearing the consequences if Nazi Germany were to develop such a weapon first. Einstein's journey ended on April 18, 1955, when he passed away in Princeton at the age of 76. His death marked the end of an era, but his influence continues to resonate. His contributions to physics, his quest for a unified theory, his advocacy for peace, and his role in the development of the atomic bomb have left an indelible mark on history. Einstein's legacy extends beyond his scientific contributions and continues to inspire scientists and thinkers around the world. His life serves as a reminder of the power of curiosity, the importance of persistence, and the courage to stand up for one's beliefs. Albert Einstein's life is a testament to the power of curiosity and perseverance. Born in Germany, he overcame the obstacles of his early years to become one of the most influential physicists of the 20th century. His journey from a curious child to a Nobel laureate is a narrative of relentless inquiry and unyielding resolve. Einstein's legacy is not just about his groundbreaking scientific theories, but also about his insatiable curiosity. His miracle year in 1905 where he published four revolutionary papers reshaped our understanding of the physical world. His work on the photoelectric effect for which he won the Nobel Prize laid the groundwork for quantum mechanics. His general theory of relativity, a masterpiece of theoretical physics, redefined our comprehension of gravity. But Einstein's impact goes beyond the realms of physics. He was a pacifist, a humanitarian, and a champion of civil rights. His views on war and peace, his advocacy for education and human rights, and his philosophical reflections on life and the universe continue to inspire and provoke thought. In the grand tapestry of human history, Einstein's legacy is a shining thread of curiosity, innovation, and humanity. His theories continue to fuel the engine of scientific discovery, and his words continue to inspire those who seek knowledge and truth. In the words of Einstein himself, the important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing.